and it's like a, a cream look cream on a spatula hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel yeah there is a little shake going on in the future <laughs> if you're new here i'm elena i'm your russian american makeup and beauty addict i usually buy and review and do tutorials of affordable inexpensive makeup from drugstore dollar store aliexpress and such I'll test it on my face and I'll pass the savings to you guys. So this is one of those videos. New release from Wet n Wild. I bought all of these four palettes and a highlighter from Walmart. They're all displayed beautifully, so I couldn't resist. $5 each. So if you guys are interested to see what happens and how they apply, how they work, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so you know when I upload. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and leave me a comment. Let's get right into this video. What's the tea, everybody? <laughs> that was a little bit of a luscious massacre because I'm feeling a little shady today. Anyway, so I got these palettes when I was grocery shopping. The usual, you go to Walmart, you go to the beauty section, and there they are, all in display. All of them, uh, there are a lot of tones. I got four, the colorful ones, the most colorful ones, and I got one with highlighters that looked like it was going to match me it's a little dark but i mean we got away with it so uh, let's watch a little bit and i'm gonna tell you why a little bit because we're having some issues here so here's a green palette i'm gonna swatch two shades one and two so there is no mats here i mean this is supposed to be matte i guess but this is a little shiny so it's kind of a satin and this is a real pretty shimmer, I can't deny. It's a nice shimmer. But here we got the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> the glitter, you'll see. So let me dig in. I don't know if you can see this, right? Look at this. Okay, it looks okay, but it's literally like putty, like a wet, wet Vaseline putty. And this one, I mean, it's sticky. It's sticky and it's vaseline. It's grease, literally grease. Bad and wild, why are you doing this formula? And this formula just does not work on anything. Maybe on your body. You could put that on your body probably, but not in your eyes. So now we got the gray. And the gray is the same. This is a real nice black. I'm telling you, it's a nice black. Look at that. Perfect. Actually, I'm, I was shocked how good that is. And the shimmer is real nice as well. The silver shimmer. Beautiful. And the glitter is shitty. It's the other one. It's Vaseline. Literally Vaseline. I'm not going to show it to you because it's so bad. Alright, so going to purple. Same difference. The same two glitters, I'm not going to touch them because they're awful. So this is the purple. Okay. So that's a matte. I think it's kind of a true, true matte. It's not shiny. So this is decent. And this is a shimmer. But this shimmer is a little too dark and it's not shimmer enough. Kind of like the dark green. So this is matte, this is supposed to be shimmer, but it's not like shiny enough, but it's too shiny to be a matte. So, and the glitter is just like uh, grease. The pink, same difference. These are two, the nice ones. So I'm just gonna stick a finger that's not dirty. <laughs> the light pink, I'll put here. I'm not trying hard with these watches. Here's pink and the light shade, which is like a shimmer. Put over here on my knuckle. I mean, it's decent, it's okay. The glitter, same thing, the Vaseline. 
I mean, why? Why, why, why are we using Vaseline? I think it's a thing of a past to use Vaseline paste. But there we are in 2020 with Vaseline glitter. <laughs> and highlighter. I mean, in store it looked like it was going to be light enough, but it's a little too dark. I mean, I could get away with it. I just wish I picked a lighter shade, but that's my own fault. That's not them, it's me. But it's pretty. When wild with the highlighter shades, look at this. Look at this. It is gorgeous. It's right here. My hands all messed up. But anyway, look. That's a nice highlighter. It's glittery. So if you don't like glitter and highlighters, don't get it. But it's a wet, wet, wet look. See that? I'm kind of living for that. So that's the only thing that won, that saved this video, this highlighter. So this is it with the swatches. So if you want to see how I created this look, and you see just a quick application, so you see the receipts, then keep on watching and then I'll give you my final thoughts, which you already can see what I think about it. So let's get into the tutorial. So as you can see, I went to back to my old ways. You can't fix stupid. <laughs> I put the base first and we're going to be testing these palettes on the set base, so fingers crossed I don't F it up. Okay, so we've got four palettes, and I think I want to do two looks out of four palettes because the green one, sorry Teresa, my friend, it's all shimmers, like all of them, even the dark one, it's slightly like satin, so uh, this one, I mean, you could get away with it, but I think it would be better to use it as a complementary palette to something else. Uh, I'm going to do a purple and pink on this eye and the green and black on this eye. So let's start with the black on this. And I'm gonna go to town. Look at this, look at this. Ooh, that's pretty. And I think this is one of the true mattes. So small brush, motor brush, a pencil brush. So I'm gonna go right in the outer corner. It's pigmented. This black is good. So I'm going to try to attempt to use the green as a matte. I'm going to use a bigger brush, it's just the one of the inexpensive brushes from Ipsy Bag, uh, Glamour Dolls 10, my old brush. So we're going for this dark color, dark green. I'm going to overlay over the black and see what happens. And we'll see how much shine it gets. Yeah, it's a little shiny. So hopefully when I uh, blend it out, it's not going to be as bad. Because the other green, this one, is very, very metallic. And I've been living for the wigs lately, so... <laughs> you're going to see a lot of wig moments in my videos. Alright, let's attempt to highlight my brow bone with this. It's very reflective. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice brow bone highlight. I'm not mad at it. So now we're going to blend this out. The green and the shimmer. And the black. The black needs to be blended a little more, a lot more, <laughs> with the green. All right, the green wasn't shabby. It wasn't as reflective as I thought it was gonna be. I thought the green was gonna be real bad, this one. But it has a little, little, little shin in it. So I'll quickly cut my crease just on top uh, with the same concealer. I just use concealer, the base, the Focal Lore concealer. I'm just feeling lazy today with this cheap eyeshadows. <laughs> so this shiny shade, it's very metallic. I'm going just for the green. And uh, I'm not sure which glitter I'm going to put on top because we got to use glitter. There's two glitters for each palette, which is like excessive. But I think that's a whole thing. Oh, the, the green. It's like a, a real cool teal green. Really pretty. All right, blend the outer corner. Use a little bit more of a matte-ish green. Okay, so which glitter should we try? I wanted to try one of these, but then I kind of want to go with silver because I have a lot of green looks lately. So I'm gonna go with a light silver and just put it a little on top. So this feel like they have a little bit of Vaseline base or something. 
Yeah, I'm trying to see the ingredients. It feels sticky, you know, when you put your finger in it. I'm not using any glitter glue. I just want to see what happens without it. So it goes on the brush easy. Definitely sticks. I have a feeling this might be one of those glitters going to grease, but I'm not going to judge it until we see it. All right, so I think I achieved exactly what I wanted. It still looks green, but it has a little silver sparkle on it, so it's just what I wanted. So I decided to play with a little more glitter off camera because I wanted to try glitter on the low lash line and it was a mistake. This glitter is very creamy, very creamy. So it's kind of a disappointment. The base is very sticky, so this is like Vaseline. It reminds me of those singles, you know, those wet and wild singles. I forgot the name of it, but they were like a, a square single. It was glitter. It was so bad. So I uh, kind of trashed that. So I have a feeling this is the same formula. It's real pretty on the surface, but as you dig in, it's like oil slick. And I'm already looking at the creasing. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. See that? It's already creasing. It's not a lot, but it's already started to crease here. And it's breaking apart here all breaking up in the middle so uh no yeah the formula is real not that great it does fall out a lot so so put a little bit of uh this kind of yellow green glitter in the inner corner because it's so creamy it's not moving which is a good thing but i'm looking at my main lid and i'm not happy yeah mm -mm. that's not it that glitter is not good i'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna mix them together. Start with the purple. So the deepest shade here is glitter. The second uh, deepest shade is shiny metallic. And the lighter shade is matte. I think it's a true matte for a change. So I'm going to use another medium sized brush. This is, I think it's from Perfusion Palette. So I'm gonna go right into this purple. It's really pretty. I mean, I, I'm not mad at matte. This is going down the hill as we were going with this. I guess if you don't use glitter, you can make a look out of it. But since half of this palette is glitter and it's five dollars, so you get two shades for five dollars and it's wet and wild. So, not good, wet and wild, not good. So, I'm going for the only matte shade and the pink. Okay, I'm taking the same small brush, cleaned it up on the color switch. I'm going to this lower eyeshadow. This is the brow bone. For this palette it's a little dark I think for the brow bone for me I would like to for it to be a little lighter I blend it back back uh, with the matte pink let's try this one on the main lid the dark purple and it's just a shimmer so I'm gonna top it with uh, glitter just like the other eye I know the glitter is not the best, but I'm treating both palettes the same way, just to test it. It's kind of a bigger brush from Morphe, but I'm just gonna use this. I can't find the other one, so I'm going right with this purple shimmer. Oh, it's dark. Yeah, this one is like ridiculously dark compared with the uh, matte. So this should be matte and this should be shimmer. So when wild, you really missed the opportunity here. This purple should have been matte, for sure. Should, I'm just gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna go with a pink glitter over it to cover it up. So this has turned into a fail video. This don't happen very often in this channel. I usually make everything work. Even the cheapest and shittiest palettes. But this one, I think it takes the cake. So I'm taking the pink glitter and it's like a, a cream. Look, cream on a spatula. All right, I'm starting to be very shady because this is really not working for me. So for $5, seems like it's cheap, but you pay $5 and you get real crap. It's really disappointing. And I love Wet n Wild. I love it. The highlighters are ridiculously beautiful, usually. And Bretton Rock palette was good, except for a couple of shades, but this is really disappointing. It seems like I'm getting like a creamy, creamy texture on top of uh, another disappointing eyeshadow so i'll show you what it looks like when you dig into the with the brush i don't know if you can see it so when i push down it literally looks like a eye cream or something you know what i mean like a creamy texture 
Vaseline or whatever they put in there. This is not good, folks. Oh, girl. Nope. Should I try the darker? Uh, I don't know. The same creamy texture. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I'm just laughing because it's so bad. I'm giving up. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna zoom in now. Oh, it's not good. It's literally oil slick. Mm -mm. Okay, I did a little something on my low lash line with purple and pink. Uh, the matte and the kind of shiny shadow before it all melts. I need to go finish my makeup before this all melts and falls down my face because it's probably the crappiest eye shadow I ever tried in my life. I mean, the glitter killed it, of course. The rest of it was not bad until the glitter went on. Ugh. I cannot recommend this. I hope the next product I'm testing is going to save this video because I also bought the highlighter Illuminate Natures. This looks very promising. Whew. So let me finish my makeup and I'll be back. I makeup finished. Let me zoom you in first so you can see the glitter is really crazy. And when I touch it just a little bit, it comes right off in chunks. Yeah, the glitter ruined it. So this is highlighter Illuminatress Flash Me. <laughs> the name though, the name Flash Me. Okay. Ain't flashing nobody here on this channel. <laughs> so this looks very glittery. Very glittery. Don't disappoint me when wild. Ooh, girl. All right. The highlight real works. I mean, I have not seen a highlighter from when wild. That would not like. So yeah, you see how pink this looks? Actually, it kind of looks pretty. It's not bad. I would rather have it a little lighter, but overall, this is really, really shiny and blinding. So if you're into this, like a glitter specs, this would be not bad. So usually wet wild products uh, like highlighters, the eyeliners, uh, the brow pencils, they're fine. I love them actually the highlighters are the best so i really like my look today in the wig and the pink top and everything so pretty so this was a big disappointment <laughs> but i mean what can you do there's sometimes sometimes you're going to have some disappointments and these were disappointing but to be completely fair when you look at it all right so when you look at it this and this actually decent. This is a decent metallic and this is decent matte. But this too, when you buy a $5 palette and it looks like this and it's unusable, half of it is unusable, glitter is so bad. It's kind of not worth it. This was actually very pretty and this was very decent. Kind of half matte, half not. And the black one is really pretty. The matte, matte black was excellent actually, surprisingly. And this is really pretty. The same thing as purple. This is nice, not dark enough. And this is kind of disappointing because it's not really shimmery. But for the matte, it probably wouldn't work, kind of like green. So overall, I would not recommend and buying this. Because just for the one or two shades out of four, it's just not worth it. No matter how beautiful the metallic green and pink and in the black are, the rest of it is just like crap. So I'm sorry, but it is. So if you want to buy something inexpensive and has good mattes, it has good shimmery metallics, these are the best. Elf. Elf quads, $3. They're cheaper. They have a little less product in them. They're 0.12 ounces, 3.5 grams. And this poo is 4.8 grams. 0.17 ounces and so this one's slightly bigger but i mean it's unusable and you get these shades you can use all of them and all of them spectacular spectacular all of these are used i'm going to link this video put a card up here for elf review all of them performed wonderfully all four of them none of it is unusable so Elf wins in this case. Elf is excellent. I love everything by Elf. Wet n Wild is a hit and miss. Foundation, excellent. I love Wet n Wild foundation. Wet n Wild photo focus concealer is pretty decent too. Uh, Bretman Rock palette is great. I love it. I used it for a few days lately and I really liked it. But these, eh, 
we could leave this. If you like glittery highlighter, go for it. This this could be actually very nice. But all the Wet n Wild highlighters are nice. So uh, that's my final thoughts. So buy the highlighter, but leave these eyeshadows alone on Walmart shelves where they're supposed to be, where they belong. <laughs> yes, I'm being shady. What's the tea, everybody? Okay. <laughs> That's all my drag thing comes out. Okay, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, give this thumbs up. Hopefully it gave you uh, some information or what not to buy this time instead of what to buy out of affordable products. <laughs> so it's useful in its own way. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet uploaded every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. And a ring notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload. And leave me a comment below. Let me know if you made the same mistake I made and bought this poo, -poo eyeshadow. And let me know if you like it, actually. <laughs> that would be interesting. So I'll see you guys in my next video. And thank you for watching. Bye.